Red is Jennifer Lawrence's color. The 32-year-old actress turned heads at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival on Sunday in a fiery red sleeveless Dior gown with a cinched waist, ruffled neckline, and a matching shawl. She wore her bright blonde hair down and straight, and she finished the chic look with a gorgeous diamond necklace. But she did opt for some comfy footwear. The Hunger Games alum sported simple black flip-flops to complete her red carpet ensemble. Jennifer showed off her old Hollywood look at the premiere of the film Anatomy of a Fall and the documentary Bread and Roses, which she co-produced. The movie star and producer has recently put her working hat into many fields, including comedy for her upcoming film No Hard Feelings, which hits theaters this June. J-Law is known for both her wit on screen as well as her more dramatic performances. Last year, she starred in Causeway, in which she portrayed a soldier readjusting to life at home after a traumatic brain injury. She starred opposite Brian Tyree Henry, who was nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his performance. Access Hollywood Scott Evans spoke to Jennifer when Causeway's premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival, and she shared how much of themselves she and Brian put into the film, as well as what it was like filming while pregnant with her first child. It's so good to see you. Very good to see we you. We always have the best time. I have to say this. I think I, so too. I've been, <laughs> been really excited about this one because the the response has been so immediate. The people have connected so viscerally. It seems like with these characters, with this story. I'm curious to you. I'm curious to know for you what was it about this story that you're like? I want more people to understand this truth about our vets and about this experience. I think that there was there. I mean, it was just so. Really, we really took this thing and broke it open and poured all of our hearts into it. So, you know, there's so much in Brian's character that is Brian, and the same for me and Lila, and it was this kind of therapeutic fuck show or shit show, I guess, um, that was so chaotic and, um, but also so. Um, I don't know, visceral, that it's, that, you know, it's impossible not to connect with this movie because it's just rooted in just real human emotion. What I love, you talk about Brian, that people have responded to his performance in such a way, both of your performances, that like, almost unanimously people are like, nominations, please, nominations, absolutely. What did you think? I mean, you, to get to work with Brian so intimately, what was it like for you guys on set? I mean, we just had a blast. I know it's like kind of hard to believe that when you watch the movie, but we we just had a blast and then had a blast after filming and I can't wait to see him tonight. Right? Yeah. I, I, I feel like movies, especially with small uh, uh, footprints like this one had, you really do get to know someone. I, I was reading that you said you were changed so much in this process. So much in your life had changed also with motherhood and marriage. I'm curious to know what specifically you kind of look to were like, oh, no, that's a lot different this time around. Um, well, seeing certain shots where I was actually pregnant was is always funny because I'm like, wow, that that is really different. I was also, you know, engaged when we started the movie and then I had been married for like two years after we finished it. So my whole idea of like commitment and what is this and then making a home with somebody, it was all very, very cathartic. Now, lastly, you, you said that there was a plan in labor that quotes would be read to you that kind of went a little awry in the moment. What happened, if you don't mind t sharing, what happened? You know, it's just not the vibe. It's not It's not the time. It's not the time you want somebody to talk to you unless they're like, do you want more epidural? <laughs>